There we go. I think that's everything. Okay, Tanya, it's over now. Look, can I have a shower now? Yes, of course, and we'll get you some clean clothes as well. Uh, my rings? Yes. We've taken some swabs from those. If you hit him like you think, we should have some blood and tissue samples. All right. Tanya, I know it doesn't feel like it now, but this will get easier. And you've been incredibly brave and strong. You've done everything you can. And there are people here to help you. And this leaflet, um, I'll leave it for you to read when you're ready. All right. If there's anything you want to do or know, just say, won't you? <laughs> Sorry? When, when you were talking about uh, medical conditions and stuff. Yes. Well, uh, there's something else I should have told you. I'm HIV positive. Doc, how is she? As well as can be expected, I suppose. Sauter with an L. So, what do you think? Well, the marks and injuries are significant, but we do have a range of samples. Right. Pretty good description, too, by all accounts. Height, build, clothing. Shouldn't have any problem catching the gun. There's something else Tanny told me, which I think you need to know. What's that? She's HIV positive. What? Her husband, family, friends, they all know, so she's not worried about confidentiality or anything. Right, well, in that case... But she wants it on the record for anyone who needs to know. But I'm afraid, potentially, it looks like we've an extra complication or two. The guy might have got a bit more than he bargained for, you mean? Mm, something like that. Happy Christmas, mate. Taking your blue shirt, all right? Well, it's not that dirty, is it? I was going to wear it to college tomorrow. You've got plenty of others, haven't you? Danny, use your spoon, not your fingers. What time do you want to meet later on? Mm, half eleven, twelve. Steve's covering. Shouldn't take more than a couple of hours, should it? Where are you going, Mum? Never you mind. You'll be at school. Shopping. I might even see Santa Claus. Phil, don't start them off, please. <laughs> Come on, eat up. You're going to be late. Have you seen my file effects? Can you move some of this? It seems to be everywhere at the moment. Well, some of us don't have an office, OK? Right, I'm off. You two be good for Mummy today. And I'll see you later. Uh-huh. Look, I've booked time off. I'm not going to forget. See you then. Come on, you two. We'd better get going. Because Mummy and Daddy can have a lovely day together, aren't they? Thanks. Okay. Hello? Hi, it's me. I don't suppose you could do me a huge favour, could you? Do I have a choice? It's just that I said to Mrs Wilcox I'd take her to the hospital and her son's on the way with a ruptured appendix. So? So you couldn't cover the rest of my course, could you? Caroline? No, can't someone else do it? I've been out up all night in a police case. Sorry, you're the only one I could find. Oh, typical. Please, I'll lay you big time. Yeah, you do. OK, go on then. Where is it and who are they? Where do I find them? Oh, hold on a minute. Just let me borrow a pen. Bye now. OK, go ahead. I'm covering for Dr. Mystery. Oh, right. Oh, come in, love. Come Thank in. Thank you. Barry! What? It's 
the doctor to see you. I don't need a doctor to told you. I've come off my bike loads of times. Uh, what's she doing here? And where's the Indian bloke? Doctor Mystery's on an emergency call. I'm covering. Well, you needn't have bothered. I'm fine. Barry! Well, I'm here now, aren't I? So let's get on with this. Check it's nothing serious. Did I uh, interrupt something? No, no. Uh, just getting some results from the hospital. No answer, though, too early. I uh, just wondered if you wanted a coffee, that's all. Yeah, that would be lovely. You're all right. Yeah. Coffee would be great. Sure. Right, that's it. As I said, you should have had that checked out last night. Saved us both the time and energy. We've been on at the council to get that road fixed for months now. One of the paperboy lads came off his bike as well, only last week. I mean, look at the scratches on him. It's nothing. Didn't seem like nothing last night. Probably suffering from shock, if you ask me. Oh, I don't think so. I think he's made a full recovery, if you ask me. I was all right anyway. <laughs> you said you couldn't remember anything last night. You might have been concussed or something. I wasn't. I just fell. Look, at least your grandmother's concerned about you. It's better to be safe than sorry. Yeah, we've well, finished now and I'm fine. So if you don't mind, I'd like a bit of peace and quiet now. All right. He's not usually quite so moody. It's fine, don't worry about it. It's just he's been through a lot this past couple of weeks. Lost his job, split up from his girlfriend. You know how it is. He's lucky to have you look out for him. <laughs> I suppose so. He just needs to keep that cock clean. If there are any other problems, headache, nausea, anything, just tell him to call Dr. Mystery, or me, any time. Thank you, Doctor. Bye. <sighs> she didn't? Oh, yes, she did. Ugh. Don't worry, I wash my hands. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Having fun, are we? <laughs> Caroline. <laughs> so how did your date with Gibson go? Oh, it's hemorrhoid Henry more your type. You might think you're being funny, Rana, but believe me, you're not. And next time, get some other sucker to do your dirty work. Ah, oh, you've got such a way with women. I'm sorry, OK? And grateful. I owe you one. Yeah, you do. A big one. No, no, Doctor. Let's not get smutty. I am sorry, though. Steve's mobile conveniently conked out and Helen's on a half day. Yeah, well, this is one serious favour. Nice patience. Yeah, beggars can't be choosers, you know. Anyway, Henry's all right, apart from the hemorrhoids, of course. Yeah, and what about Barry? Real charmer he is. Took an instant dislike to me. Fortunately, in this case, the feeling was mutual. Yeah, he can be a bit of a handful. Got into trouble with the police recently, tampering with the silencer on his motorbike or something, riding around the estate till two o'clock in the morning. Come a cropper, did he? Yeah, he's got a cut above the eye and a few scratches. Well, oh, thanks, anyway. Did you say that he had a motorbike? Well, yeah. That's what he fell off, isn't it? For some reason, I thought it was a mountain bike or something. <laughs> I don't think he'd thank you for that image. No, I don't suppose he would. What? I've just thought of something. Whoa, steady. No, I'm serious, Rana. And why is that, then? Because you should have waited. I was going to call you. <laughs> well, I'll phone you at home next time, then. Not funny. So when can I see you again? Lunch this afternoon? I can't. I... No, thank you. No, so I'll call back later. <sighs> oh, that was business and not pleasure. Of course it was. What's that supposed to mean? I, I was only joking. Well, the, the call charges have just come in, that's all. I need oh. you to sign yours off. <laughs> right, sorry. I'm still waiting for those results to come back. Yeah. Right, where do you want me to sign? Just there. You're not serious. Why not? You really think Barry's a rapist? I don't know, but it's a bit of a coincidence, isn't it? Funny, that's what I was thinking. And if Barry fell off his bike, he'd be wearing a helmet, so how come he's got that cut across his eye? And those scratches, they're fingernail marks, not grazes. Maybe. Well, I don't know. The description fits. The hair, the build, the height, the motorbike leathers he's wearing, they're lot. It's a bit more than circumstantial, wouldn't you say? 
No, you're beginning to sound like Quincy. <laughs> Look, I don't like this any more than you do, but I don't believe in coincidences. Not when there are certain unavoidable facts. And the evidence is all there. When it was, what he looks like, and the injuries he sustained. OK, OK. Who knows, you might even be right. You've got to tell the police, if that's what you really think. And what if I'm wrong? I didn't see Tanya, and I didn't see Barry. So I can't help you, can I? It's your call. And you've got to do what you think is right. And I think you probably know what that is. Hi. All right. I've got those notes you wanted. Oh, great, thanks. Um, <clears throat> you've got Mr Cartwright waiting as well. Oh, yeah, I know. Uh, look, can you tell him five minutes? I've just got a call to make. Yeah. I don't suppose Dr. Thompson's available, is she? Oh, hiya. <laughs> How are you, Phil? Fine, thanks. How's it going? Oh, you know, all work, no play. Gather you've managed to drag Helen away for a couple of hours. Oh, are you guys are exciting. Nope. Christmas shopping, my idea of hell. You should do something romantic, you know, just the two of you. No, not this time. The cruise for two's next week. Not on your non-existent salary, it isn't. I was joking. I know, that's the trouble. Anyway, we'd better be off. I'll see you guys later. Don't do anything naughty in Santa's grotto. Good luck. It's all right, I've got it! I had to. And they were checking him already, apparently. And for your information, he's been arrested and he confessed. You don't need to justify yourself. You did the right thing. Is that what you really think? Of course I do. If he's guilty of rape, yes. He deserves everything he gets. Well, I think he's going to get a lot more than he thinks. What do you mean? Oh, I really shouldn't tell you this. But the woman who was raped last night, she's HIV positive. Oh, what? Does she know? Yes, yeah, she does. The whole family have known for years. But Barry doesn't. You mean... Yes, I do. Maybe vengeance is sweet after all. Oh, come on, that's sick. Is it? Well, have you told him? Does he know? Caroline, you know as well as I do that he should know. What about the woman he raped? What happens to her rights? Oh, that's an emotional response and you know it. You're damn right it's emotional. I spent the whole night with her. Caroline. If he's HIV positive, he has a right to know. That's fine. All right, you tell him. He's your patient. Oh, I can't talk to you when you're like this. You're being irrational. Irrational? Oh, I'll give you ir <sighs> What's wrong with the book token? Nothing. He's your uncle. You get what you want. But you don't think it's a good idea? It's fine. <laughs> anyway, if he doesn't want it, you can always buy some more textbooks with it. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. It's just we're supposed to be Christmas shopping, not buying more stuff for your college course. Uh, two books, that's all I bought. But no, you begrudge me even that. I don't begrudge you anything. I just want to get on, that's all. Fine. You're the one earning all the money, as you keep reminding me. So, what's next? How about a new son-in-law for your mother? So? So, I reported him. Oh, what's wrong with that? You did the right thing. Unfortunately, the woman he raped was HIV positive, and it looks like I'm the one who's going to have to tell him. Oh, that's complicated. You're telling me. Part of me thinks it's obvious. I should tell him, make sure he receives the support, whatever. And then the other half thinks, why bother? If he is positive, so what? It serves him right. I saw what he did to that woman, Kate. No one should go through that. No, of course they shouldn't. But this isn't really about her anymore, is it? It's about how you feel about him and what he's done. If he's guilty, we have a legal system that'll punish him. With people qualified and hopefully objective enough to pass judgement. 
but it's not up for us for to take the moral high ground and to wonder whether we can tell him something. It's his right to know. I, I know part of you hates him, the part of you that would like to see him strung up. But as a doctor, you know that he has a right to treatment like everyone else. Well, that's got to be almost it, isn't it? Oh, what about Aunt Susan? Well, we've got a soap, haven't we? We can't just give her soap. Well, why not? That's all we've got Aunt Margaret. Well, she's different. What? You mean she's my family and not yours? Hello. Chris. It's, um, Phil, isn't it? Yeah, you remember Chris, don't you? He owns the restaurant. Oh, yeah. That's right, yeah. Well, how's it going? Great, yeah. Couldn't be better. Yeah, anyway, nice seeing you again. We better you go. You must be doing the, um, big Christmas shop, then. Mm, well, Danny wants a bike. Well, you can't go wrong with Harley Davidson. <laughs> well, he's only seven, so I think it's a BMX this year, isn't <laughs> it? No, you'll get there. Yeah, I've asked Santa for a Ducati this year. I don't know if I've been good enough. Uh, no, Norton's more my style. In fact, uh, well, I had one before we got married. I didn't know you were into bikes. Uh, Steve didn't mention it. No, well, he wouldn't. He was always jealous because I looked better in leathers than he did. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Uh... Well, listen, a um, mate of mine does marketing at Donington. Gets me in through the side entrance, so if you ever fancy a trip, no, then... No, don't tempt me. No, seriously. We can make a day of it. Maybe even catch the super bikes. Brilliant, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Fantastic, yeah. We could do dinner afterwards as well. On me. Yes, well, thanks for the offer. we better make a move. Uh, nice seeing you again. <laughs> All right, um, I'll give you a call and, you know, we can fix up a date. Yeah, thanks a lot. Cheers. Yeah. Phil. I'm coming, darling. Well, see you around. Yeah, cheers. cheers. Hiya. I just wanted to say I'm sorry. Me too. You were right. I know I've got to tell Barry. But you can't help hoping that eventually he'll be positive. Well, after being with Tanya last night, I would probably say yes. But now I can be rational and not emotional, as you so kindly put it. Yeah, well, sorry about that. I'd have to say no. I wouldn't wish that on anyone, not even Barry. Good luck. Thanks. Chris seems like a nice bloke. We should invite him over sometime. What? Why? Well, why not? He could come with Steve or something. Oh, I get it. A bit of macho bonding over bike talk and suddenly your best buddies. No, I just thought it'd be nice, that's all. Look, he's a patient at the surgery, Phil. I'd just rather not mix business with... Well, dinner and days out at Donington, that's all. Fine. Just an idea. Anyway, I'd better be getting back. I know, I know. Look, I'm sorry, I'm just a bit tired, that's all. Well, at least we've done the shopping. Yeah, and I'll try not to be back too late. I know you've got coursework to do. Just take it easy, OK? I'll see you later. Mmm. Now, what did I do to deserve that? Carried the shopping. <laughs> if that's the case, I'll have to do it more often. I'll hide these things and I'll see you in a bit, OK? You ready? Yeah. What are you doing here? Oh, I get it. It was you, wasn't it? Little Miss Bleeding Marple solving her mystery for the day. Well, congratulations. I hope you're satisfied. It's OK. Give me a note when you're done. Mm -hmm. When you're done with what? Don't tell me you're here to change my plaster. No, you're right. I'm here to explain something. Oh, yeah? The ramifications of which could affect you, your health... No, cut the speech and just tell me straight. All right, Barry. The woman you raped last night is HIV positive. What? There's a chance, therefore, that you could be infected. No, hold on. You're saying I've got AIDS? No, I'm saying you could become HIV positive. <gasps> I don't believe this. Oh, you must love this. 
grassing me to the cops and now telling me this. Makes you feel really smug, doesn't it? I deserve it, don't I? That's what you think. Look, you'll receive proper advice from a professional counsellor. And if you agree to be tested... You want me to get it? Go on, admit it. You'll be monitored. You'll be tested. And if relevant, you'll be advised on the appropriate treatments available. The results could be negative. So let's just get you tested before we jump to any conclusions. Well, that's all. Yeah? That's all you can say to me. It's my job to inform you of the facts. It doesn't matter what I think. I'll arrange a counsellor to see you. You off? Yes, Phil's got college work to do. My turn to take the kids on. It's going all right, though, isn't it? What is? Phil and the college and kids and you. Yeah, could do without Christmas coming on, but you know how it is. Yeah. Look, if anyway, yeah, I'd better get off. Yeah, say hello to them for me, won't you? Yeah, I will. Oh, I nearly forgot. Um, Phil rang. He asked you to get some milk on the way back. Apparently you've run out. Milk. Mm. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Anyway, I'll let all the relevant bods know. Thanks. I'll probably see you soon. Probably. Mrs Gibson. I'm sorry, can I have a word in a minute? Yes. What is it? Come this way. Not for me, thanks. I'm driving. Anyway, I can't stay. Look, it was bound to happen sooner or later, Helen. Yes, but did you have to be so pally? I mean, inviting him to Donington, what was that all about? <laughs> I was only being friendly. Trying to make conversation? Yes, with my husband. I shouldn't even be here. Look, but you are. And I don't know about you, but I'm glad you are. What am I doing? I'm married for Pete's sake. I've got kids. And? And I can't stop thinking about you. There, I've said it. Look, if you don't want this, Helen, if... If you don't want to be with me, then I don't want to put you through all this. What do you mean? You've got to know what you want. I don't want to be the reason for your unhappiness. You're not. Aren't I? No, it's just... I don't know, Chris, I don't know what I want anymore. It's not just me and you in all this, though, is it? <laughs> no, you're right, it isn't. And I don't want to make it any harder than it already is, but I do know what I want. But if you don't, if you're finding it all so hard, then, then maybe I should make it a bit easier for you. How? Maybe I should drop out of the equation. Maybe we should stop seeing each other. Danny, leave it. Come on, you've made enough mess already. I was washing up. Oh, don't, I'll do it later. Come on. There, no. It's Daddy's essay. Look, come on, come sit down and watch telly. Come on. Come sit down. Sit with Danny. Danny, stick a video on. Go on. Daddy, I want my bunny. You want bunny? Here, look, bunny's there. Sit and watch the video with bunny, all right? And wait till mummy comes home. Whenever that might be. Say something, please. Anything. So is that what you want, then? Is that what you're trying to tell me? No. Of course it isn't. I want to be with you, Helen. All day, every day. But if that's not what you want, for whatever reason, I do. then... I do.
Why does this have to be so difficult? Because getting what you dream of in life can sometimes be painful. But it is worth it. Is it? Yeah, it is. I've got to go. Oh, stay. I can't. Can I see you tomorrow? I'll give you a call. You do know how I feel about you, don't you? Damn it. <sighs> what? You haven't got a pint of milk I can take, have you? <laughs> Still here, then? I don't suppose you want to tell me how it went? No, not really. I think you can probably guess. Fancy a drink? My treat. Oh, why not? Rana, thanks. Right, get your coat, you've pulled. <laughs> 